Hi guys. Um, this is going to be your weekly, re general weekly reading for all the signs uh, for January 24th, 2022 through the remainder of the week. And the first thing I'm going to do is cleanse the cards. I'm cleansing them with sage to cleanse the negativity off any of the other readings. And I hope you guys have a good successful week. And let's see what we have in store for you. So let me just give them a good cleansing one more time just to make sure. All right. I'm going to set that out of the way. And we are in Mercury retrograde and we're still in Venus retrograde. And um, we'll be in Venus retrograde till the 29th of January. And let's see what we have going on. Oh, you're going to struggle and you're going to have to push through this week. Um, it's going to be hard. And, uh, you know, as you can see here. With the seven, seven of Wands, he is pushing and he's struggling. And it's hard to push through. It's hard movement. Um, but he's going to do it and he's trying and he's not giving up. And then we have the Empress. And when the Empress is near, she's all about fertility. So take your birth control. Guys, wrap it up. But seriously, though, she's a goddess, feminine en energy. Um, you can see here, she's got the female symbol. Um, her crown is beautiful. Um, she does have the fruit here, you know, um, for fruitfulness, abundance, um, but also fruit of your loins. She's a very sexual energy. And um, she's all about abundance, too. You can see here, there's the wheat. For the harvest which brings a lot of abundance and she's very in touch with mother nature you can see the vegetation in the back um she's just overall a really good card to have she's caring loving nurturing um she's a mother and she is here to guide you and care for you throughout the rest of your week and with tarot it's not about just one card it's how they play together so she's going to help you get through your struggles this week and then we have judgment. And this is either Gabriel, Peter, or Michael. I don't know. I get my archangels mixed up. But anyway, um, there's an announcement coming near. There's a big announcement. Um, and it may be an epiphany, like just an announcement in your head. But also, um, this is the card of new beginnings. Um, it means resurrection, rapture, enlightenment higher power, higher learning, but an awakening. So I think a big announcement's gonna come this week and something's gonna click in your head and you may have a new beginning or you may, uh, you know, soul search within yourself and, um, you know, maybe soul search and start a new journey, start a new beginning. But there's definitely uh, something that's gonna click in your head this week. Maybe your career. Um, maybe like, you know, I'm done with this job. <laughs> See you, bye. Or like on the, um, the movie Half Baked where he gets up and he's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. I'm out. Hey, that may be what happens this week. And next we're going to use the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. And let's see what we have here. Uh, 
We have the Queen of Torches. Definite fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. She's very uh, quick-lipped, quick-tempered, but she's also nurturing and caring in a loving way. Um, you know, just don't make her mad. She has her cats here guarding her. Um, she's very Leo. She does have her cats. Um, and then there's chaos all around her, but she's still ruling. She's ruling through all the chaos. She's focusing through all the chaos. And also, you know, she's um, a leader. Um, she's royalty. She's a ruler. And you may, uh, you know, end up with a promotion, a raise, a career change, or a business venture this week. And then we have the Queen of Swords. And again, Queen of Swords, she's definite Aries to me. Um, she's got blood on her sword. Um, she'll, you know, she's stern. She's got everything in order. She's successful. But don't piss her off. Do not piss her off because she will bring blood. Um, she's very combative. Um, kind of standoffish. Uh, she doesn't like anybody telling her what to do. And when you do, um, you know, you seek the wrath of the Queen of Swords. So, um, also another leader card, which again can be, you know, leadership, career change, promotion, or a business venture. And then we have the Nine of Torches. And with the Nine of Torches, as you can see here, She's pushing through again. Um, she's got her torch. She's seeking knowledge. She's seeking adventure. She's seeking enlightenment. She is seeking something so different from what she has right now. Um, and she's pushing through and she's trying her best to make it through um, everything and make it through the chaos that's coming to her and everything's coming at her at once. And of course, you're going to draw that card because, you know, it is... Um, Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde. And last but not least, I'm going to do a quick uh, magical messages from the fairy oracle cards. Um, now, these cards can also be called uh, spirit cards, spirit guide cards. So let's see what your spirit guides have in store for you this week. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life, and now a new and even better part is beginning. And we discussed this with judgment. A new beginning. There's a big announcement coming to you. Um, you know, and I think it's going to be a new beginning. It's going to start, it's going to end the cycle you're in now and start a new, better cycle. And then we have ask for what you want and let the universe and other people know what you need. If you need anything, always reach out. It doesn't matter if it's a friend, family member, a church, charity, whatever. Always reach out and always set your intentions, affirmations, and um, manifestations into the universe. Always ask for what you want. And then we have summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So, you know, let's, I hope that's true. I hope it's true um, because I can't handle my electric bill anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I do think everything's going to come together. Everybody's going to have a rough, you know, week ahead. Uh, but I do think everything's going to work out for you. I think once you get through the struggle, uh, everything's going to actually be better than what it was before. Um, you know, like I said, the tarot tells a story. And you have um, the Empress to guide you and to guide you through your struggles. You also, you're also backed up by the Queen of Torches and the Queen of Swords. So you have a powerful force behind you, um, you know, and then you have your struggles here. But you have these three strong cards backing you up and guiding you. And then you're going to have your epiphany and make your decision. Uh, which I feel like it may be your career or a relationship. Uh, but, you know, this is a general reading and whatever you have uh, coming in store for you this week. Um, I hope it works out for you. And, you know, 
again, I'm going to just disclaim this because, you know, people are stupid and I don't want anybody to say, well, you know, <laughs> I didn't have a good week. You know, my week ended like crap and it didn't get better. It's all your fault. No, this disclaimer, this is for uh, entertainment purposes and, you know, I take it for what you will. Take it for a grain of salt. I do not use uh, tarot to predict the future. I use it as guidance and insight. And so there we go. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Bye.